हे गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम विनय इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ न्यू एच डी आर टेक्नोलॉजी एच डी आर टेन प्लस एंड आई विल ऑल्सो ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन वाई इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट सो वॉच माई फिल वीडियो सो दैट यू विल लर्न एवरीथिंग विच इज़ नीड टू नो अबाउट एच डी आर टेन सो विदाउट फर्दर आई डू लेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो एच डी आर टेन प्लस इज़ द एडवांस्ड इम्प्रूवड वर्जन ऑफ एच डी आर टेन a technology that enhances the color and contrast of media they both utilize metadata to tell your phone or tv how to show the hdr content upgrading the view when you are watching a video but the main difference come in on how they tell your screen to do that hdr10 is a static technology sending the information to your device at the beginning of the video and from there your device uses that same information the whole time Instead of a one and done signal it's made with dynamic tone mapping that fine tunes the settings continuously as your content plays to help ensure each scene looks as the director meant it to When you shoot a video on your phone it will play back with a life like color and details of 4K Ultra HD and HDR10 Now this is the beginning of what the meaning of Ultra HD and 4K HDR Now I am going to explain the technical nitty gritties of this video So HDR10 plus is a high dynamic range video technology that adds dynamic metadata to HDR10 source files HDR10 plus signals the dynamic range and scene characteristics on a scene by scene or even frame by frame basis The display device then uses the dynamic metadata to apply an appropriate tone map through the process of dynamic tone mapping Dynamic tone mapping differs from static tone mapping by applying a different tone curve from scene to scene rather than use a single tone curve for an entire video. HDR10 Plus is the default variant of dynamic metadata as part of the HDMI 2.1 standard. Now let me tell you about the history that how it all started. So HDR10 Plus also known as HDR10 Plus which can be used plus signal and plus sign was announced on 20th April 2017 by Samsung and Amazon Video HDR10 Plus updates HDR10 by adding dynamic metadata that can be used to more accurately adjust brightness levels up to 10000 nits maximum brightness on a scene by scene or frame by frame basis and supports up to 10 bit color depth and 8k resolution the function is based on Samsung application SMPTE ST 2094-40 application So HDR10 Plus is an open standard and is royalty free. It is supported by Colorfront's Transcoder and Multiverse Wear's X265, a certification and logo program for HDR10 Plus device manufacturers will be made available with an annual administration fees and no per royalty. So it is a rival of direct rival of rather Dolby Vision. Now difference between Dolby Vision and HDR10 Plus is that where Dolby Vision charges a licensing fee to stream their content here there is no such thing so it is open source now samsung is the only platform right now that supports hdr10 plus whereas oneplus in their tv have also started dolby dolby vision and hdr10 plus support panasonic is the first brand that on their television sets supports both hdr10 plus and dolby vision now LG on the other hand supports only Dolby Vision and not HDR10 plus so this is the difference between these two terms and if you are want to know more about Dolby Vision view my video that i made previously about Dolby Vision where you will explain and you will learn what it is so that's it for now guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you think this video has offered you something put value in you then please subscribe to my channel and view my other videos and if you think my videos helps then you can also share my videos with your friends so that they can also be benefited i am vinay and i'll be seeing you next time till then bye bye and take care